prompt are the most important thing in stable diffusion these are building blocks of our image even if you write bad prompts you can still edit it later into tools like impaint so why prompts are important you may ask because it's going to save our time editing image using photoshop can take hours if you write your prompt correctly you can save hours of work sit back watch your image being generated so let's understand prompt by dividing into sections subject description background lighting focus can manage even if the details are not specified in this section but if you are working on a complex requirement with a specific needs it is important to understand prompt let's understand each of this section with an example subject while generating an image a subject is primary focus of our image it can be a human a car or a river for simplicity let me type a subject a woman let's generate thanks to focus we got a beautiful clear image of a woman but you may need a specific image of a woman in this case woman is a subject now we have our subject let's add a description to our image a description can be anything like anything wearing like a sunglasses a woman with sunglasses okay there it is our subject woman wearing a sunglasses let's try changing the description like uh, clothing uh, orange shirt and white pants we got an image with a orange shirt white pants let's say i want short pants okay there it is so woman with short pants try generating two to three results to get a image as per the prompt let's change the description with a blonde hair woman so we got a subject a blonde hair woman shirt and short pants let's add some more details third section was background so let's add some background a background uh, could be an outdoor park if i can type correctly not good with spellings so we got our uh, subject a blonde woman with orange shirt white short pants in a outdoor park the results are good let's add the final point lighting lighting can be described as a time of a day like morning afternoon evening or maybe night time midnight let's add a sunny day here okay we got the image a blonde hair woman outdoor park sunny day as described you might you should try two to three times you should be getting a perfect result now one more thing there is uh, on the internet there have there are few people 
describing their prompts with comma separated words even that is a different style of writing a prompt we can try it out subject uh, woman blonde hair comma orange shirt then white short shorts and background outdoor park lighting sunny day okay uh, so there is our subject woman blonde hair orange shirt white short outdoor park and a sunny day so the results are great you should try yourself maybe with a different subject uh, let's say the subject uh, could be a waterfall so the subject uh, is waterfall and uh, waterfall should be in a forest trees and uh, i think so lake water falling in the lake the lighting will be a night time let's check so we got the images one of the images is accurate i mean uh, it's the night time let's generate again still it shows a day it is slightly a night sky it is turning to be night a kind of a evening let's try again the images turning out to be a kind of evening images not completely night let's give some details like stars in the sky stars are supposed to be there in the night time so so the image turned out to be a good image i can see the sky the sky is dark which starts it's the night time there are few more things in prompt which i will be sharing in the second video do let me know if the video was helpful enough for you